Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today I am here to share with you what I melted this week and this is for the week I think of June 12th maybe it starts or June 13th, I don't know, it'll be in the title of the video um, all the way until June 19th which is today um, the day before Father's Day so happy Father's Day to any of you dads out there and um, okay so let's go ahead and get into it I have a whole lot of empties this week because I actually focused a lot on samples so let's talk about samples this first one is Evening in the Hamptons Ozone from L3. I melted this one in my bedroom. Unfortunately, I didn't get a strong performance from this one. However, I think that's my fault because I put the whole shape in my wall plug-in warmer and it's like full to the brim of wax. So maybe I would need to repurchase this one to give it another try because I think I am drowning out the fragrance oils of it. Um, and then all the rest I melted in my bedroom of these little samples and I've just been doing like, you know, one a day or one for two days. It just kind of depends on how it's performing. This first one I really, really enjoyed. This is Lavender Lemonade Soda. Y'all, this one I love. I literally drew a heart on it because it's so good. I put really good, stronger on the fizzy note than the lavender, and stronger on the lemonade than the lavender. So this one's amazing. I definitely would repurchase. I definitely would repurchase this one um, in a larger quantity. It was amazing. Another one that I really, really enjoyed. Oh wow, I felt like there was another one that I really enjoyed, but apparently not. Okay, so all these ones were like, okay. Oh wait, this is the one that I really enjoyed. And it was a surprise. So this is Fresh Pick Strawberry Pink Chiffon Boom Boom. And I love this one. This one surprised me. It smells so good. It had a strong performance. Um, I was surprised that I liked it because when it comes to Boom Boom as a scent note in like home fragrance, it just smells really, really weird to me, but I guess combined with the strawberry pink chiffon and, or with the pink chiffon and the fresh pink strawberries, sorry y'all, um, this one was a really, really good. So I would repurchase that one in a larger quantity as well. This one is Southern Sunshine Tropical Soda. Um, not crazy about this one. Pineapple, dragon fruit, mango. Not crazy about that one either. Strawberry pound cake, cuppy cakes. It was a good bakery, but I'm not crazy about it. Like, it's not the most amazing thing. This one is called Don't Get Burnt. And I'm pretty sure this is a suntan lotion type of fragrance. Um, it's kind of weird to me because when I think of, like, suntan lotion fragrances... I think of the um, suntan fragrance candle from Bath and Body Works. And this one just smells so much different than that. Like, it's a different kind of suntan lotion than that, like, copper tone brand suntan lotion, the way that one smells. And I think that's what my brain associates with suntan lotion. So, long story short, this one was kind of strange, but it was actually a strong performer but just not my cup of tea in terms of like the scent itself. And then we can get into empties of full size products, which I do have a few of those. So this first one is Destination Wax Blueberry Basket. The notes are a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. This is a rich, sweet berry scent. It is indeed a rich, sweet berry scent. This one was so good. I loved it. It's my first scent that I ever tried from Destination Wax, and I was very impressed. I would definitely repurchase. I would definitely recommend. Um, it's going on my repurchase list for sure. I loved it. This next one is Rainbow Melt Kick, and this one is Strong Black Coffee, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Cream. This one was strong, but odd to me. Um, 
I have like a love-hate relationship with it. I don't think I would repurchase it just because like, again, I had a love-hate relationship with it and also like I had to be in a certain mood for it and I had to blend it with something sweet in order to like it and yeah, just long story short, I wouldn't repurchase. Um, then one that I melted in the bedroom, this is Zape's La La Land, and the notes are clean cotton, lavender blooms, and morning dew drops. This one, you guys, I cannot say enough good things about the scent. It is just, like, such an amazing scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It is so relaxing to me and like it just smells like perfect <laughs> i don't know it does it's the perfect scent i really really love this one a lot um it's one of my favorite scents ever for the bedroom in the whole entire world that i've ever tried and i will definitely repurchase it like every day of my life it's amazing it will always be a favorite of mine always 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 so okay there's that one and also i just love zape like everything that i've tried so far from zape has just been amazing <laughs> um okay l3 waxy wonders shamrock shake in the clamshell is also an empty so this one is creme de menthe and creamy ice cream and this one smells amazing um surprisingly it did perform much better in my bedroom than it did downstairs so that was a little bit surprising because generally for me l3 is the opposite as like other wax companies that will do better in my bedroom and like you know if it performs well in my bedroom then it might perform well downstairs or it might not l3 is like the opposite to me like it usually is like a powerhouse downstairs and then in the bedroom it can be a hit or a miss but shamrock shake did really really well in my bedroom it was super strong um but then downstairs it was like a medium ish type throw like medium light and um i mixed this one with my hot chocolate and marshmallows candle so that was like a nice combination and at least like added a little bit to the strength this one was a disappointment you guys oh my goodness so this is l3's champagne toast mango sorbet georgia peach i think i didn't put enough wax in my warmers the last time i melted it so i'm gonna try to use a little bit more this time um i mixed this one with my champagne toast candle from Bath & Body Works and pretty much all I could smell was champagne toast from my candle unless if I was standing like directly over my warmer so that was very disappointing I'm going to try I think like chopping this little rabbit in half and then putting like one and a half shapes in each warmer next time to see if that works this past time I did only one shape per warmer and I think that's why like I think that's why I didn't get a good throw this time around. Um, okay, one from L3 though that I really did enjoy that performed so well. This is L3's Southern Sweet Tea Lemon Curd. And this one I put one fluted tart in each of my warmers downstairs. This one was a powerhouse, so strong. It lasted for like four days and then I finally was like, I need to take this out of my warmer so I can melt some other scents, please. Um, and so I did and the scent was still going strong. So now you can probably tell I chopped these other um, two fluted tarts into halves so that I can melt it downstairs in just like half of a fluted tart increments at a time. So that's nice and i really did enjoy that one i would definitely repurchase it and i'm looking forward to melting the rest of it um during the summer months then from the melted mousse i have apple mango tango this one i melted in my bedroom i cut it into thirds and i still have um two thirds left to melt downstairs um this one is like a refreshing apple like cleaner not I don't want to say cleaner it's like just like a fresh apple 
like a fresh tart apple-y scent um and i really enjoyed it it threw really well in my bedroom and it did a fabulous job in there and then also i melted from yankee candle meadow showers which i melted i cut these into little pieces as you can see and i melted i think an eighth of it one two three four five six seven yes I cut it into eight little pieces and I melted an eighth of it in my bathroom. It was really, really nice. I just literally um, would turn on my warmer like maybe 15 to 30 minutes before I went to take my shower and like it smelled amazing. I loved it. So I definitely will repurchase this as I like, you know, empty this product out in order to be able to use it in my bathroom again y'all that's everything i melted this week that is a ton of wax um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am interested to know what did you melt this week what were your thoughts have you melted any of these scents what are your thoughts um thank you so much for watching i will see you next time and as always make sure you stay positive till then bye